Hi, my name is BC Hoffman. Hi, my name is Judith Jones. And this is Recipe Wars. And today, we are battling it out with apple pie. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so I'm actually super excited. I'm doing Sherry Yard's apple pie. So what we're gonna do today is Wolfgang Puck's favorite holiday apple pie. And I'm gonna be doing good old Martha Stewart's version. Let's start with the crust. Now it's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Great. Then the butter. Now the ingredients when you're making the crust, golden rule, number one, make it cold. Mine is like almost like my grandmother's recipe mm -hmm. and yours is almost like my mom's recipe. Oh. So it's like, which one should I like more? <laughs> so, well, maybe you can have to go with your Mom Moms. today. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started on the crust. Now, I like this version of crust because she actually adds cheddar cheese in the crust, which cheddar. I think. Cheddar. Cheddar is a great um, addition to this apple pie, and the savory goes really well with the sweetness of the apples. So, we're going to start with that. In our food presser, we're going to add in our flour, sugar salt, and our butter in there too. I've got two yolks right here. I'm just gonna whisk those bad boys up. And I've got one tablespoon of cream. Cool, so let me start that. Sounds like the little engine that could, that thing. Right. So I'm going to now take my two and a third cups of pastry or cake flour, whichever one you choose to use. Dump that right on in there. And I've got half a pound of butter, one third cup of sugar and I'm gonna give that a nice mix. And before you start mixing, I am just gonna add in my cheddar cheese. So we'll process that. And then slowly we're gonna add in the water on a pulse. It sounds like a little Tyco RC. <laughs> my dough's ready, I'm just gonna put in my yolks and cream right now. And give that about maybe 30 seconds and then I'll be ready to actually take this and just cool it off. It's gonna go straight in the fridge for about one hour to just chill, literally. And same as mine, mine is ready now. We've got our pastry dough and we can wrap it in some um, cling film and then put it in the fridge for about an hour until it gets nice and cool. So I am actually going to now take my Calvados. Calvados is an apple brandy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take a quarter cup of it and throw it right in here on a flame, get it nice and warm. I'm gonna save one tablespoon of it. And to I'm drink gonna, later, I'm sure. To drink. <laughs> We're gonna do shots of Calvados afterwards. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've got one ounce of my figs. I've got one ounce of prunes dried up and chopped. And I've got one ounce of dried up chopped apricots as well. And I have my Calvados getting boiled right here ready to go and I'm literally just gonna throw it over top basically just to plump up my fruit right there. And I am ready with my apples so I have peeled, cored and um, cut them into little wedges like this and what Martha Stewart does is she drizzles it in um, lemon juice so that the apples don't go brown. We're gonna add our sugar, our cinnamon and our flour. So we'll give that a good stir. And that's it, how easy is that? We're gonna get our butter going in, and I'm just gonna get that melted and nice and browned. So I'm about to throw my apples in, but before I do that, so in the recipe, she asked for the sugar to go in before you put the apples in. In the video, she actually puts the apples in and then puts the sugar in. I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar in now and a little bit of sugar in after. Oh, that's crazy Are idea. Are you mixing up the recipe? I, that's not fair. <laughs> I'm doing her recipe <laughs> still. I'm just, I'm just doing 50-50 on all it. All right, all right. Going for the apples now. Now again, it is going to bubble up, so be careful. Literally let these cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Alrighty. So I've got my apples nicely caramelized and poached, and I am ready to deglaze my pan with a little Calvados and a little brandy. So this is gonna take about mm, 30 seconds to a minute. And I'm ready to add in now my tablespoon of cream. Mm. And then the joys of the magic of cameras. I have, beneath me, a sheet tray. This is what you're gonna use to actually cool off your apples. And we're just gonna put that right mm. on there. Slide all that flavor off. Judith is gonna take a bite of one of them. No! 
steal a bit. <laughs> I've eaten all my apples waiting for you. Uh, well, now we're gonna use all my apples to make both pies. So, I've got my plumped up fruits right here, my apricots, my prunes, and my figs. And now I'm gonna just throw my apples right on in. I got about one teaspoon of nutmeg, throw that in. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And I'm gonna take my orange and my lemon and I'm going to zest both of them. So you don't want the rind, you just want the zest. Same thing with the orange. So I've got that there. And I'm gonna give it a quick one two with a knife. You can use any knife. Just, that's it. You gotta throw that in there. And then I'm gonna take the juice of one whole lemon and squeeze that up in there. Get that nice and out. God, so many great flavors in your apple mixture. That's nice. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know. No, so I don't know. Just <laughs> I'm gonna throw that in there. And I'm gonna mix that around and set this to the side and get my dough ready for my pie. All right, we've taken our dough out of the fridge, nice and cold now, so we're gonna open that up. Ooh, look at the cheddar. The cheddar is a great addition to this one, I have to say. Everything's um, better with cheddar. You're right, it kind of is. All right, so we're gonna get a little piece of parchment paper, uh, flour that a little, flour your rolling pin a little, and we're gonna cut this piece of dough in half, because obviously we want the base, the bottom of the apple pie, and the top. And Martha Stewart says, she likes her top to be a little bit thinner than her bottom, so. <laughs> right? So we'll just half that. I'm gonna take mine and I'm actually going to split it in two. You want a slightly larger piece though. And we're going to take the slightly larger piece and reserve it for later, put it back in the fridge to chill. And basically, one's gonna be your top and one's gonna be your bottom. So I've cut mine in half. Um, we're gonna put the other half in the fridge and get that back out when we need to roll it. So all we want to do is roll that out into about 14 inch round. We want it to overlap our nine inch dish right there. So I've got my butter melted right here and I'm literally just gonna put it all around. So I too, I'm gonna butter the bottom of my dish. It was a little too soft, so I'm adding in a little extra flour just to make it so it's a, a firmer crust. Okay, so I've just finished rolling out my dough and I'm going to now throw it into my pie pan. I'm just gonna flip it right in there. And you want about a half inch overhang. The reason why you want the half inch overhang is so that way you can fold it over after you've gotten the top put on. I too am ready to put on, uh, put my pastry on top of my dish. So I'm also gonna try and get that bit of overhang. There we go, lovely. So I've got my excess that I trimmed off around the edges there. I'm gonna throw that in with this dough right here. The remainder that we were reserving on the side. And we're gonna roll this out, and then what we're gonna do with this is roll it so it's just basically a nice flat sheet. Um, so we've got our dough in there. I've just basted the outer edges with a little bit of water just so they don't, um, so they can stick. Now I am gonna add in our apples now, if you want to use a cardboard cutout as a guideline for this, you totally can. I personally am a big fan of using a little pizza cutter or a pie cutter and just literally making my strips straight down. You want about one inch by one inch. And you're gonna to want to get about 10 to 15 of these bad boys in. So I've rolled out my top half, as we did with our bottom, and we're just gonna place that on top of bottom half. And just with our thumbs, I'm just gonna press that down before we do a little crimping action. Cut the outer edges. So I am ready to start forming. So I'm gonna take the smaller ones, I'm gonna just kinda fold right over top, right there. And then to fold it under, overlap. So one, two, three. And I'm gonna crimp the outer edges of my pie to make a li nice little pattern uh, with my thumb and index finger. Just gonna do that. So we're gonna base the top of that, this lovely pie with some water so it doesn't burn. Poke holes in that bad boy. Oh, we will, don't you worry. 
So we'll probably put in about, well, five, I should say. So that's ready now. Mine is pretty much ready to put in the oven, 420 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna lower the oven to 375 and then keep that in there for about 45 to 60 minutes, 60 minutes. Now if you see it burning or browning too much, you can always add some aluminum foil on the edges. Aluminum foil, you see, on the edges so that it doesn't brown too much. So mine is ready. I'm not, I'm not mad, it's cute. I like the way you say yeah, aluminum yeah. foil. So I'm just pinching my crust together, finishing up right now. I am almost ready to throw it in the oven. I just need to do one last quick trick, and that's just put a little sugar on top of my crust. And now I'm ready to go into the oven with this bad boy. We're gonna cook it for about 35 to 40 minutes at 400, and then lower the temperature to 350 and do the same thing for 35 to 40 more minutes. So we just cleaned up and we are ready to taste test these bad boys and see which of these apple pies is the winner. We are, and yours, I have to say, looks very pretty, very colorful, I love the lattice. It came out really well. I mean, for looks, yours is a winner. Well, I really like the fact, I mean, look at that. You can see like the cheddar, the cheddar flaked I in like there on the too. crust. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Well, the proof is in the pie, so <laughs> let's try the pie. Yes. All right, um, uh, I know yours first. Uh, compote or cheddar cheese American style, oh. Uh, compote. No ladies first or anything. No. <laughs> Let's do this. You got a little bit of everything in there? Mmm. Wow, that compote's really rich. That is good. Um, and it's more of a stewy. It's, it's kind of stewy and soft and I love the addition actually with the figs and the apricots. It's very nice. Because that extra sweetness. Yeah. Mmm. It's, it's good. It's it is. It's good. Okay. Let's let's go let's in. Let's see with some of the savory cheddar. How the that uncooked does. apples that are cooked in the oven. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's a much more traditional apple pie. You can taste the apples. I really just want like a layer of cheddar cheese on this though. Mm. You just need more cheese. Um, more. I actually think the flavors complement each other really well. That savory of the cheese with the with the um, apples, and it's not too sweet, it's not too heavy in any, anything. You know, it's it's a pretty darn good pie. I really like the taste of your compote. I'll be honest, I love those flavors, the big, the, the, the stewy apples and the apricots, I like it. But I really like my crust. You combine the two, we we've got the, the winning pie. Um, it can't do that, we gotta figure it out. And I think, honestly, I, I'm gonna actually step aside because I like them both, but I can't choose. It's mom versus grandmother, mom versus Omi. <laughs> it's hard for me to choose two. <laughs> oh. What are we gonna Mom, do? Mom, I love you, but I'm going with Omi's. It's a very close call, I have to say, but I do like the flavor more on yours. So, we're going with Sherry's this, this week. Yeah, so that being said, Sherry Yard is the winner. Martha Stewart. Close second. Very, very close second. They're both very, 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 very good. That being said, my name is BC Hoffman. And I am Judith Jones. This has been Recipe Wars. Please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. You keep watching and we'll keep on cooking. Yeah.